In the world of modern technology, engineers are constantly making new breakthroughs in the design of land vehicles for rapid and convenient movement for a person from one point to another, as well as various types of vessels, both swimming and also airborne. Today, I want to give you the top five unusual projects that are really impressive. We will start with the first position that's on top, the Hyperloop. The Hyperloop is a kind of vacuum train project. This idea was first proposed back in 2013 by American entrepreneur and engineer Elon Musk. But alas, this project has never been fully implemented. To date, several test sites have been built in the United States sponsored by the notorious company SpaceX. The length of the tracks reaches about 1.5 kilometers, as for the maximum speed achieved during the tests, according to official data, is about 463 kilometers an hour. Now imagine such a monster in metropolises where there's a subway. You wouldn't have blinked an eye that super fast. Hyperloop capsule would get you where you want to go in a matter of seconds, especially given the fact that the maximum expected speed of the Hyperloop is supposed to be about 1,220 kilometers per hour. According to Elon Musk, the idea for the vacuum train came to him when he was standing in a long, boring traffic jam. He burned with the desire to conduct some vacuum tubes under the city, inside which capsules carrying passengers would travel at 1,000 kilometers per hour of the first underground routes was planned to be between Washington, D.C. and New York City, with the capsule's primary role to ensure the safety of the passengers. Yes, as we can see, inventors don't like to waste time, instead they just let their imagination run wild and you have to admit they're pretty good at it judging by their unusual ideas. Despite the fact that the project was never implemented, Dirk Alborn, the head of Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, said in an interview with CNBC that the first commercial line of the Hyperloop high-speed system will be open in 2022, so we don't have long to wait. At number two, we have autopiloted cars. How realistic are the fantasy movies? Many of us have seen where the car drives itself without any interference from its owner. But what if it is quite realistic these days? Back in 2015, the first 100 pre-series prototypes were built autonomously. Google self-driving cars. Tests of such cars with electric motors from the Fiat 500e were tested on public roads in California. The maximum speed test robocars did not exceed 40 kilometers per hour. With the first tests came the first shortcomings, which required no small amount of improvements before the Google electric car could be mass produced. First of all, one of the problems was that it was first found, first of all, one of the problems was that it was found that the autopiloted cars were found to be extremely polite on the road letting everyone buy who wants to flow into the traffic. What's more, the robot car's video cameras are very bad at reading traffic lights in bright sunlight. If not, they didn't notice them at all. If included, temporary traffic lights which are not marked on the maps loaded into the computer memory. A similar problem arose with potholes and open manholes on the road. The car only notices traffic cones, indicating repair work. It's hard to disagree with the fact that there are more shortcomings and quite serious ones. Recall, for example, how in early winter 2019 the Model S autopilot knocked down a Russian Promobot robot during the CES 2019 electronics show. But if we're already talking about automakers, I hasten to point out that Tesla is leading the way before its competitors. Not all models are known to be able to go around other obstacles the way Tesla does. Although, on the other hand, similar autopiloting features are in models of General Motors, Ford, Mercedes-Benz, Toyota, BMW, and others. The most advanced autopilot systems that are installed in production models, like Tesla, today only have a second level of autopilot. So essentially, it's just advanced technology to help drive the car, which still require the constant attention of the driver. All this is certainly interesting, and most likely, very soon, autopiloted cars will start to fill the streets of our cities. 
Will it become safer on the roads? Will it reduce the number of accidents on the roads or will it increase the number of accidents? People will want to entrust their lives to a robot car? It's hard to say, but this idea is not much left for its full-scale implementation. As the head of Google's unmanned car project, Chris Armson said the company is going to start mass production of the robot cars in 2020. However, as we can see, this has not yet happened. So when you're watching another sci-fi movie where there are autopilot cars, know that you're only one step away from a fantastic future where robocars will rule the roads. In third place, we have supersonic aircraft. These planes are capable of flying at crazy speeds that exceed the speed of the sound of air. In the last few years, several companies around the world have begun to develop new supersonic passenger aircraft. Advocates of instantaneous air travel at over 1,200 kilometers per hour believe that you can get from New York to London in just three or four hours for just a few thousand dollars, which, as you know, is the price of a business class ticket on a regular airliner. But supersonic aircraft still have serious limitations, both in terms of noise and economy. Back in the 1950s, designers began dreaming of ultra-fast and comfortable passenger flights, but at that time, flying at supersonic speeds was only available to combat aviation. At that time, it seemed that such developments had a bright future behind them, but alas, the implementation and construction of other supersonic airliners were never built. Only the TU-144 was used on passenger routes for less than a year, and the Concorde was in operation until 2003. But it was used by only a few airlines. What were the disadvantages of commercial supersonic aircraft? Well, first is the sonic boom. Second is the high fuel consumption, as well as one of the disadvantages was the noise over the airfield and the difficulty of using this machine. Nevertheless, what is known about the developed Arian passenger business jet AS-2 in November 2015, an order was placed for 20 units worth $2.4 billion, with first deliveries beginning in 2023. Most likely, supersonic passenger planes have a bright future in the airspace, as all the flaws will be perfected over time. Fourth place, flying cars. Imagine walking down the street with cars flying over your head. They're going seven stories high and they're trying to outrun each other. That sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But I hasten to tell you, there are already flying cars. The only thing is, they won't be flying over our heads soon at all. The important qualities of a flying car are such as compactness and independence from airfields. Such a combination of qualities will allow you to save in the device such important automotive properties like the ability to close to you and willingness to carry you in the right direction as soon as you cross the threshold of your home. As of 2022, several dozen flying cars have been developed experimental type and the major car brands are hard at work, development of flying cars, and this proves the fact that the dream will come true after all. However, it's worth considering the fact that before flying cabs take over the cities, certain nuances have to be carefully considered such as noise pollution, battery life, and most importantly, the safety of air traffic. But with flying machines like drones, things are much simpler in 2019. Uber has introduced a new type of drone to deliver orders from Uber Eats. The device uses innovative rotating wings with six rotors, which in turn provide a much better vertical takeoff. It is also known that in the future, the company plans to use similar rotating wings for Uber Air cabs, which were tested back in 2019. The drone's maximum food delivery time is eight minutes, including loading and unloading. Its cruising altitude will be no higher than 120 meters, and its total range of the flight would be about 28 kilometers without delivery and 19 kilometers with one order. Also, the drone can easily hover in the air at wind speeds up to 48 kilometers an hour. According to official data, the drone has already passed test flights and so-called critical design analysis. However, it is still unknown when it will be possible to order food by drone or fly to your grandmother in a cab. In 
fifth place now is the underground road from Elon Musk. Interesting facts about this unique construction are waiting for you, so stay in your seats and watch this video to the end. Now, on December 18, 2018, Elon Musk's company opened the first underground tunnel under Los Angeles, at the same time promising to end traffic jams once and forever. The idea itself to build an underground tunnel came to Musk in December 2016 when he tweeted about the traffic driving him crazy on his way between the offices of SpaceX which is located in Los Angeles, and Tesla in Silicon Valley. And then, a month later, in January 2017, there was a test hole drilling in the parking lot of the SpaceX office. The length of the trench reached 15 meters and the width of about 9 meters. In April of that year, at a TED Talk, Musk demonstrated exactly how the tunnel will be used in the future, when the urban network is developed. A car drives into a metal container, a kind of electric platform, and is taken by an elevator which goes down underground, where it's moved by the platform. In the tunnel, the speed traffic is not limited and the platforms can accelerate up to 200 kilometers an hour. At the opening on December 18, 2018, the first person to drive in the tunnel was a company employee in a Tesla Model X. The ride took about two minutes with the electric car's headlights and blue neon lights that are on top of the structure, but during the test discovered the following problems. The two concrete structures near the wall were so uneven in some places that it felt like the Tesla was driving on a dirt road. Musk, on the other hand, explained that there was not enough time to solve this problem and promised to fix it in the future. Nearly $10 million were spent on the construction of the tunnel. The tunnel itself runs through the Bel Air apartment complex where Elon had five mansions. The drive from Bel Air to SpaceX office would have taken over an hour considering the traffic, but now that time can be significantly reduced to six minutes. And it's a prime example of how efficient these tunnels are in large metropolitan areas. But the Boring Company only used the tunnel under Los Angeles for research work for one purpose only, to make the project cheaper. Musk expressed hope that the open section would eventually become part of a much larger network in greater Los Angeles, and if the work goes as planned, the entire tunnel system could be up and running by 2028. In the words of Elon Musk on this, 10 years sounds like infinity. I sure as hell hope we can do it. This issue comes to an end, and I hope you are interested, so give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss the second part of the top five unusual projects of modern engineering. We'll see you soon.